an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't. Yo, Harry, you ready? You ready to rock and roll? That's right. You ready to get this spot? Andre, you in the building? Your green do rag, you good? Got a special guest in the building today, uh, Man School 202, good friend of the show, a uh, good friend of mine. Uh, he's in, the, in on the lockdown, getting ready to they getting ready to open the lockdown up. We all gonna die. Give it up for Nathan <laughs> McIntyre. Y'all give it up for Nate, Big Nate. Thanks, thanks for having me, guys. Happy that oh, beginning brother. the first message of this podcast. We're all gonna <laughs> die. We're all gonna die, yo. It usually oh, takes us Lord. at least twenty minutes to get to that portion, but yeah, makes every me, podcast makes, goes to that. But yeah, it makes me feel funnier. I feel funnier, you know. <laughs> Cause who's, Knowing that we're gonna go- die, right? Because no, who's gonna get? Who, who's gonna say I said something that was offensive and end my career when there's no career? You know what I mean? There's ah. no industry. There's no careers. There's no nothing. Yeah. There's only what you make for yourself. This is real Terminator Two type yeah. living we got it's, going on. Do you so notice that one of the a, themes is here. I'm we're pro- I'm probably gonna be calling you Cracker a lot. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean that that didn't really that wasn't really told to me in the uh, the pre email. But I'll tell you this: <laughs> now that we're now that we're going there, I knew this podcast was not gonna be on time. I knew it. Yeah. One hundred percent. I have never been to anything in Brooklyn that was on time. Not That's one true. fucking thing. That's Nothing. true. Yeah, I, yeah, but you know where we early at. Robbing you. We early for robbing you. <laughs> I've never I have never been robbed in Brooklyn. Brooklyn has has fallen down. Who would I get robbed by in Brooklyn? Who? A yeah, vegan cupcake uh, shop owner? Yeah, Who the fuck has robbed couple, people? There's a couple of spots that you don't sleep on. All right? There's a couple of spots. There's some spots. No, I know. They'll pick I know, the meat off your bone. <laughs> there was but some from- shows. I think I might have saw you at some of these shows, Dante, but there was some shows that I would go to where people were like, what are you doing here, man? <laughs> <laughs> one woman yelled at me one time that I was in the hood. I don't even know where that show was. That's fucking funny. Pick, pick an Avenue. <laughs> what was it? Fuck, is some, some... I know where I, it was. Not a comedy club. That's no, the thing, yeah. No, a no, restaurant no. A, or a karaoke It bar. was a restaurant slash, you know, architectural fucking... Some thing gonna, that was supposed to start at eight that ended up starting at ten, huh? and they also had fucking plantains in the back. And one woman they have, yelled at me. They, all I want to know is how was the oxtail? Was the oxtail good, good or what? It was <laughs> good. good. Right, of course, good. it was good. <laughs> Crowd was all right too, except for that one woman that was like, "You're in the hood." <laughs> <laughs> you like you oh, too, shit. bitch. <laughs> you need. It's not leave. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm visiting. You need to do better. <laughs> <laughs> this nightmare is going to end I can leave me. after this show I can leave <laughs> yeah that was ridiculous so there are yes there are still some places in Brooklyn that uh, I don't want to go <laughs> man oh my god yeah, yeah I know I know them well we did I, some like, those shows we, though we, we you notice start. I didn't say I know I know where I was like I know them dudes I know yeah. them Dante you, you ever do you ever you remember Emerald City you ever do a show at Emerald City yeah, casino. Oh no, that's Empire. I'm that's sorry. Empire. Emerald City is the farthest thing from a casino. It's barely right. a restaurant. Yeah. Man, Dante, I ate yeah. my dick so hard at Emerald City <laughs> that when the, the guy paid me, I apologized. <laughs> and then I just walked, got in the train. I was like, never again, man. That was fucking unreal. How, how long after that was you back in the hood doing some shitty gig and eating oxtails? How long after that? Probably you a said month. You never, probably a, uh, a week. Yeah, yeah. I figured. The next offer. <laughs> I remember I showing like you're up. not going to go back, but fuck, man. Emerald City was like, maybe it's just that night. That was the, one of the worst things I've ever seen. The host uh, tried to do it during a fucking playoff game. A, a NBA uh, playoffs are on. And they and he did the show. It that happened horrible. to me at Harlem Nights. I was, I was doing a set in uh-huh. Harlem. And they had a fucking playoff LeBron going off. Uh, <laughs> Yelling at full, oh, just, nigga, God damn. <laughs> Every minute, just, I can't. Yeah. <laughs> Son, I, I, you know, I'm, you know, I'm good. What you call it is, uh, is, uh, is, um, I hold on, what the, I know, I know, I'm getting my. The mic because my my somebody's calling me because my computer. So when they yeah, call we me, had, we day. should explain for people who are listening or watching this that uh, we're not, we don't have our normal setup, even our quarantine setup because we had some computer issues. 
and uh, we didn't want to keep Nathan waiting forever. We did make him wait for a little bit. Because we are from Brooklyn. We are from so Brooklyn. We, we wanna... knew this reputation. We wanted to start Harry, off you also, Harry, you also had to break into somebody's pantry to fucking That's record true. today. I did have to eat my... <laughs> Where are you? Is that a laundry room? Where are you? I'm in my. Uh, I'm in a room here in Jersey City, the, the barest room that I could find <laughs> in my place. And unfortunately, it is like a, there is a steam pipe. It's the, as professional as I can be. Andre, also, uh, thank you for cleaning up your room for it to make it look professional. Um, I, well, I just, I just went to San Francisco. Right. I yeah. So you so, hate Dante is still excited by the technology from 1994 that he can do a green screen behind him. Which is, which is exactly why we don't have our regular technical setup because I don't know shit. That's so, true. Because I don't know I, shit. I spent, I spent. Uh, I spent three hours trying to figure out what a CSV file was yesterday. So what is me. that? I, I don't yeah, know. I, don't know I have is. no idea. I have uh, no idea. Me too. Are you After saying three it wrong? Hours, you still don't know. You, I you still mean, don't know. You mean PDF? I know the <laughs> if it's a PDF, that might be something different, Dante. You might just got the wrong letters. CSV. Well, here's the crazy my, thing. What I does PDF my, stand for? Huh? Huh? Oh, I'll I tell you know. what. I'll tell you what the file is for. Say, for instance. You have a database, you have a mailing list of a database, like your name, the address, the phone number. You can, a CV, C, CSV file is a file where you can take those, that data and transfer it to another database without fucking up, without having to put each one individually. There you go. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. So the three hours wasn't, now, how I use it, do it, or convert it, I have no idea. But I do no. know, I did that, learn that in three hours. Of it took you three that. hours to memorize what it One was. One Google uh, search. Yeah. That's, <laughs> well, the Google search is quick. It's remembering. The Google search is quick. It's understanding. Yeah. That was a, like, Nate, that was a good explanation, yes? It was clear. I, I already kind of forgot what you were talking about, yeah. man. See, this uh, is the tricky part. <laughs> On fire, Dante. I don't care about a fucking CVS yeah. file or whatever. You said. <laughs> what I love, that's Dante, all I care about is you actually have a good background, a home studio that most people would die for, and instead you've chosen to make. That's why. I, that's the only way we're friends, Harry. Is so yeah. you can you can you can operate my technology. <laughs> I know, but then the other. But I don't like you. I just, I just know that you know how to fucking use a mouse. <laughs> but instead, now you've chosen to use the background instead of your home studio. You've decided to put on a green screen so it looks like a cable access show. Don't be jealous, cause I, I got a flight to San Francisco. Harry. So, <laughs> What's up, jealous. Andre? He's jealous cause he's in the laundry room. It's and, not, and I got a ticket to San Fran. Got to so. shave the rest of your little bit thing, man. The mustache? What? Yeah. Mustache, mustache. dog. Because you got, it's, it's, very, it's thick in the middle, but then the fin tails is off. You see, Nathan, Nathan you see, I, want, I warned things, you about man. this before, right? I did warn you before. You, you did. No, I, you did. I, I, I can't complain about anything, man. Just uh, I didn't know some people break there's, down. There's no, there's no, there's no victims. Only volunteers here, baby. <laughs> that took bets on something. Uh, no, like, no, you, you were there for it. You smoking all day? Not all did day. You smoke, not all day. I stopped two minutes shadow? ago. That's not all day. That was. I smoked at like three. Okay. That's, that's like yes, like uh, five minutes ago. Yeah. What are you talking about, smoke, son? Yo, <laughs> now you want to fight me? <laughs> you you want to fight me? <laughs> nah, that's just that's just how I ask questions. Yo, that's, aggressive. For real? That's why yo. no one ever gives you directions. <laughs> yo, so I'm going out this <laughs> Nate, have you? So you haven't done this stream horse shit, right? You haven't done a little something. Just no, just straight yeah, stand up. No, a couple of people have done that. They've done the. the Harry sent me this thing with a, a dude's on the back of a pickup truck in a in a parking lot with a bunch of cars. That's kind of cool. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Mm. I'll do that shit. You but it's a, that? he said it's like a drive thru so people are in their cars. They're in, in their, their cars car and they're honking their horn. They're not laughing. They're, they're not heckling. The horn. They're just honking their horn. It's tough, man. Where where's yeah. that from, Harry? What what where's that? That was uh there's a couple good dudes who run it. Mike Merrick runs it down there, so I love his ambition. It's just not for me. It's in Atlantic City, that area. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh and, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. And okay. listen, if people want to do it, more power to them. But I just I don't know, man. 
There's could, the other side of that, though, that's also like, yo, com- comedy doesn't win all the time. You know? Like, even the fucking... You know, anybody that would run a, a comedy show during an NBA playoff game, because people are like, yeah. I got to soldier on. No, you don't. You don't. No, you, don't. you can don't. shut this one the fuck off. This one lost. It's, yeah. it's over. And same well, as... You- it's like, we can't do it for a crowd. Oh, I gotta, oh, I'm going to stand <coughs> in the woods and, and talk to animals. Like, you don't have to do that. You don't. We can just yeah. wait for it to fucking come back. Yeah, yeah. Or it doesn't. But you gotta and we move on with our fucking life. Yeah, yeah. But there's a lot of there's a lot of emerging uh, Zoom stars coming up the, in the game. A lot of a lot of people that I've not seen ever uh-huh. on a stage ever. Uh huh. Hold I, on, I ain't that the same they, shit we were saying about the Instagram and Twitter stars? And yeah. Instagram stars. Oh, when it was a new thing, you shit on it, and then some dickweed from whatever the fuck takes it serious. And the next thing you know, it's got 16.5 million followers on Zoom doing whatever the fuck he doing. Yeah, we're still shitting on it, though. We well, can you still, be still, mad about no, no, Andre, on. that's not really the same thing because stand-up's not, it's not a new thing. Right. Making a six-second video, is a, it was a new thing. Doing stand-up has been around for fucking ever. No, now we're just yeah. talking about doing it for honks? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's I not. I can't do like it. Like at a dealership, man? We're just standing at a fucking Corolla? And I guess you can do it, but like... When I heard the idea, I thought it was more like a driving movie theater experience where you'll probably hear them laugh, but they're just in their cars. Yeah. No, they're in their cars. Yeah, well, how, they gonna car. hear you, how are you going to hear them in, if they're in their cars? I've heard my sister laugh. That bitch laughed. <laughs> so we should Good just point. bring your you're sister to the car. Dante, what's your counterpoint? <laughs> Let's bring you, great point. Point, point to Jane, you ignorant slut. <laughs> you... you <laughs> I don't even know what just happened. I know. Man. I know you wouldn't get it, but I figured they would. They got it. We got <laughs> it. I got it. So <laughs> nobody going to explain that to me? Can't. Don't have time. It's, it's a long rip. You it's have better. nothing but time, bro. It's a quarantine. I got, no, I got... No, man, I got to fucking <laughs> drive in to do stand-up at <laughs> in 20 minutes. I have to be in Atlantic City. He's got a parking lot show to do. I got... I got... Uh, I got... I can't do it because my knees hurt and I can't climb up in the back of the flatbed no more. So I'm out. <laughs> I'm done. Here's yeah, when yeah. you know, though, that those things caught on to a huge, huge degree is when, who do you think will be the first famous comedian to do the drive-in show or the Zoom show? And I'm talking stand-up, stand-up, not just, not just riffing or Some talking shit, guy. like stand-up. Theo Vaughn. going to be Theo Vaughn. Theo Vaughn? He would do some wild shit like that. I can see that. Yeah. Yeah, I heard uh, Gaffigan's going to Salt Lake City. Like they're opening it back up. He's uh, yeah. Here's yeah. the thing, though. You can't. You but there's here's here's what I will say. And somebody said there was, there's certain comics who look. Here's my jokes. Here they come. Yeah. I hope you like them. If you don't, I'm fucked. Those motherfuckers might do well on the Zoom shit. That's yep. true. They're just gonna rattle off their fucking jokes. If you have, if you know. If you have anything about anything you love about stand up is the interaction between the people, it's the energy between the people. Yeah. And when and the higher level of comedy is not just here's my I, jokes. I did a, a Zoom show where it was set up like this, but uh everybody else they just muted their the uh, uh-huh. no no no. No the, the the host muted his mic and people just stayed quiet. They had the so when they wanted to laugh, they would let the laugh out, but they did just stay quiet. Well, so they left it all on, and then when you when I performed and talked and everything, like they laughed normally, but you'd only you they would only laugh. You wouldn't hear them any when, other time, and that right. was it. They didn't heckle. They just have to agree to not heckle, and then it worked out. It kind of felt the closest to a crowd when they did did it that way. Yes, sir. It nah. does ruin that the. the it's, it is interesting of the Zoom heckler who decides to be a Zoom, Zoom heckler. heckler in that yeah, but that's going to well, be somebody that's just like, fuck it. I'm going to just do Absolutely. this because I could do it. So I know somebody that did a talk show with Zoom and they got Zoom, you know, the Zoom bombing. Yeah. What's that? You, 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 we're on a Zoom and streaming or whatever, and then all of a sudden they they they, they hack in and throw a pet, uh, child pornography. Whoa. Come on, nobody's done that. Yes. Child porn? How do you even like, get child porn? I don't know. Ours Ray, is not to how ask do you why. Get child porn. <laughs> I don't know. Google. I've heard of people coming in and being like, people showing their dick, people being racist, but child porn is I've heard, like, look, Jesus, I swear, fuck. There was a, 
Somebody had a talk show. It was like a, a sister girl talk show, you know? Like, black you girls You don't need talk. him. <laughs> the, sh- the show? Black, you don't need him, girls, the show? <laughs> if, my, if my hips could talk, the show. Um, <laughs> sister Soldier. He's not Mr. Right, but he's Mr. Right now. <laughs> All at the Beacon Theater. Uh, six shows. Okay. The, uh, <laughs> so they were Zooming. They were Zooming, and then they somebody they got zoom bomb and then child porn they pump child porn in and because here's the thing the person who told me about this like got nobody's ever, ever nobody's uh-huh. ever really seen child porn like you think you know what no but it's like a shoot that there was like this dude was fucking like a four-year-old like oh, penetrating a four year old. Wait, like, wait, 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 wait. These, these impractical on. jokers. That's not guys. what I thought that meant. Or, I thought child porn was just like that's a sixteen Italy. year old that took a picture of herself or himself in that child. I thought that's what no, it was. They fuck, that. fucking like that. They, they bombed yes. and they were like Christ. straight. Mm. Yeah, like okay. where they were like where they was like fucked up. Like like yeah, my man was fucking fucked up. He was horrible. He was like, yo, I didn't even think like you know how Andre just Ooh. said that I thought it was this like nobody look at your face. Yeah, you didn't know that's what it was. Because like, I was thinking my, when you uh, said no one no one here. You didn't seen think it? of it like that though, not Nathan. No, I mean nah. but no, but I, I no. But I I know it's a pop I, I still can't get over that somebody would bomb <laughs> a show with that. That's because true. whoever bombed a show with that has that. Yeah, yeah. That's that they have that somewhere. You can't just yeah. find that. That's not just like Yeah. You gotta go to a certain fucking dark yeah, that's, a, that's weird, a certain that's a certain little dark corner you gotta go to dark web, you gotta And go you can't to just get the, you can't just get there. You can't just Google and, and type a couple th- like you th- that's it's horrific. I can't even believe that's I can't I can't believe that's a thing that somebody bombed with. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, yeah. Just crazy. be racist. Yeah. yeah. Just yeah. come on and tell people why you don't like black people. It's the easiest <laughs> thing to do. That's way more like and, and people and people right, have been better. practicing it for so long now. Exactly. I mean, yeah. People are people so even good, consider like, it a bomb. They'd be like, finally. Something yeah. normal. I had, <laughs> I had a dude, I had a dude on who was uh was calling me about relationship advice. And then he, he was like, he wanted to know if I had uh he yo, you you know any people at the post office? So I go so I call I call him up, I said, dog. You you trying to do mail fraud? He goes, uh, you know, I got to do with this with some some check some credit. Card. I was like, okay, listen, I'm gonna assume. He goes, you know, I got. He said he couldn't pay his mortgage, right? He's gonna lose this house, and I said, okay, so if you got a house and you're looking in the mail fraud, I'm gonna I'm gonna assume that you would you you've done time. He goes, yes. I go, and I'm going to assume, I, I go, from where you sound, sounds like you sell drugs. He goes, yeah. I go, what's your story? He goes, well, I sold drugs for six years. He said, I did, I did three years, and then I got my real estate license, because that's all crime anyway. Right. And he goes, and Natural he, then he was doing <laughs> 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 And so he called me up to find out if I knew somebody at the point, because he wanted to, I, go, I said, look. Because the, the, man school 202 principles apply to everything. I said, listen, um, you did drugs for six years, right? I go, how long did you do mail fraud? He goes, never. I said, okay, so let me ask, when you were dealing drugs, when you decided to deal drugs and you did it for six years, aren't there things that you learned in the six years that you would have never known if you had not done it for six years? He goes, yes. I go, so mail fraud is the same way. You, you're you not going to be as good as mail fraud as you were at drugs, even though you got arrested doing selling drugs, because there's nuance to drug dealing. There's, an art there's, also, drug dealing. there's, a, oh, there's also a nuance. I said, so look, I'm not telling you what to do, but if you're going to do crime, do the crime you know. Don't, don't, don't try to start a new this career is, in this mail is exactly, fraud. This is exactly like the Zoom shows. Exactly. That's why you said talk about black people. We got practice in that. <laughs> Zoom stand up is a different thing. It's not re- you're gonna there's there's different things you gotta figure out. You know what I mean? Different yeah. pauses. Yeah. What what kind of mail fraud was this guy trying to do? I, I he was he had credit cards and stuff. I didn't get into it. I didn't have a I didn't have I don't I don't ride dirty no more. 
once you do movies, you can't really ride dirty. Like, I don't even really want to punch nobody in the mouth no more because I don't want them to be watching fighting and be like, that's the dude that beat me up. And then <laughs> just check my credits. <laughs> and all of a sudden, somebody's ringing at my doorbell cause, because I did one episode of fucking Ray Donovan. So <laughs> I just but wonder it, it, because they're like, how do you even, like credit, you just, I don't know anything about it. I know nothing about it. You know what? I don't want to get into it. I'm exactly like that guy. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't know and I shouldn't even exactly. ask questions. I'm out. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> if, you know what? You should, you should go into tanning. That's what. <laughs> Tan scams? I Tan scam scams. people into tan, tanning? It's just a bed with a bulb? One Listen, fucking bulb? Here's the thing. If, if Nathan was using iPhone phone lights. <laughs> <laughs> just think it's holding yeah. the phones on. If Nathan Daniel, is able you, to you, trick you, anybody, if Nathan can trick anyone into buying a tan from him, then he deserves all their money. Because there's uh, nothing about Nathan that you go... It. Nathan's very white skin where you go, this guy knows about tanning. You see this what? right here? I'm getting burnt on this side of my face. <laughs> From a, <laughs> from a fluorescent light. <laughs> His eyebrows were brown when we started. The, That's the, hilarious. Uh, <laughs> Dante, do people call you up a lot, ask, ask for criminal advice? I get a little bit of everything, but mostly, uh, re, you know, relationship. Mostly relationship stuff. But, they'll, like he, but they get to know you because of that, and then they'll ask you, yo, yo can I ask you something? Yo. Uh, uh, are people asking you about all types of women? Like, like every, yeah. every t white women, black, everybody. Let's, let's be honest. They're all the same. So. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. You're saying fundamentally white, black, Chinese women, all Listen, the same. You wanna, Internally, you wanna, all the same. Look, you want to clean it up? The world's ending. I don't give a fuck. They're all the same. <laughs> Go ahead, clean it up. Are you still trying to salvage your non-career? <laughs> Listen, man, oh, he's, he doesn't want to get bumped off that uh, parking lot show. Also, at how else would I say white, black, and Chinese? You know what I mean? <laughs> my name's not Dante Nero. I don't have a fucking bone hanging out of my ear. <laughs> the, uh, the, they ask everything. They ask, I mean, they will ask some thug-ass shit. Um, so everyone's talking some thug-ass shit. But it's, it's the, the principles are all the same. It's... It, it, and I, I start to like I my ha I started hashtagging uh, life guru instead of just life guru <laughs> pimp. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be funny! Your guru documentary. <laughs> yeah, cause you're gonna be in it with this green do rag. We're using this footage right now. You in the closet. <laughs> I'm gonna be what on it that, like what that. are you doing with your hand? What are you doing with your hand? I don't know, nigga. Oh, guru it's, pose. It's supposed to go under. It's supposed to go under, yeah, yeah. underneath. <laughs> yeah, underneath <laughs> it's guru. When you pull him up I'm like just, that, it, it looks like I'm, you're. I'm about gonna do to... like this. I know mine. <laughs> <laughs> Some cute dog bullshit. How's your girl, Nate? How's your girl? You good? Y'all, y'all get along though, right? <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, no, we get along. I mean, we, we've had uh, we've had some fights during this whole thing, you know. Hey. Yeah, but I'm oh, saying boy. in general, you you guys like each other. And I know yeah. that about you from us. You like being around each other. You like each other. Yeah, 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 yeah. We both we we like each other. We laugh about things together. Yeah. Yes. So I'm I'm I'm, you know, like I'm cleaning up with the consultations because. We know everybody's home. Every most most motherfuckers settle settle for their their you know their mate, and then uh, you know that's why they call it settling down. Yeah, not not the person you really want. <laughs> you'll do, and uh, and now that because of the corona and the you know the quarantine, now you got to really be with the person, and so yeah, you know I've had I've I've you know I've had a dude call me up and say yo um. So I was like, okay, so what's going on? And he goes, ah, my wife punched me in the face. And I'm like, yeah, this is, we're going to need more than an hour for this. <laughs> <laughs> How crazy is it, though, that, like, like me and my girlfriend both sort of uh, work from home to a degree. Like, I travel and stuff, and she works on the weekends. But, I mean, we see a lot of each other. But how crazy is it that probably, what, 80% of couples just found out that they hate who they're with? The, yeah. I heard like the domestic is violence is going up, <coughs> all kind yeah, of abuse is going violence. up. Everybody yeah. beating and swinging on everybody. 
Because you're like, you spent 50 hours a week away from somebody, and now yeah. all of that is looking right at them, and you're like, holy and then fuck. It's, a, yeah. it's also a different 50. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So even if you put the 50, then like, you might, when I'm <clears throat> in, you out, you know? So it's like, hey, how you been? You yes. Know? So it's, I'm getting right a lot of, yeah, I'm, I'm getting a lot, I get calls religious, and I don't really advertise much, and the people are like, yo, you gotta help me. And the other, the other thing is, um, I really, I would, if I had done advice for women, which I do, but the, I don't think you can fix a relationship from the, from the woman. What do you mean? And I shouldn't, and I shouldn't say from the woman per se, because I've, you know, I've counseled. LGBT people, and so one of the things that you know you have this masculine and feminine, but even in a in a in a you know uh, a, a lesbian or a gay relationship, they're still not masculine and feminine, but you would consider it dominant and and submissive, which is kind of you know like a little more gender fluid in terms of I had to kind of re look at it different and see how things were. So there's always the person. That's dominant, and all of the words is submissive, and so the principles <clears throat> work the same way. You can't fix a relationship from the submissive's perspective. Like, for instance, if you got a guy and he's really weak, and you know, like you'll you'll see this, oh, girl, he's you know, he's nice. Give him a chance. You you it's are sorry. It's, it's over. Right. Forget it. Yeah, it's done. Because if she's a strong woman. You can't ask her to be weaker to accommodate this weak dude and then ask her to feel safe with him when she has to she has to lower her shit to yeah. so that you can manage her. It's already logically it just don't even make sense. So I when I started doing the show it was really about giving the guys advice um as and 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 making guys be more confident and more understanding of what their value is and stuff like that because you can't fix it you can't fix the relationship from the girl you can only fix it from the guy Dante let me ask you when when the guy said yo my wife just punched me in the face what do you what do you tell that guy I I well there's a there's an analogy that I always use I say uh when like OJ didn't start off cutting bitches heads off you know Mm-hmm. First, he called her a bitch, then a cunt, then he shook her, then he choked her, then he smacked her, then he punched her in the stomach, then he kicked her in the stomach, then he hit her with a chair, then he cut her head off. So when somebody punches you in the face, <laughs> this didn't happen today. The, today wasn't the day that you said something, You been, everything's been perfect. Uh your whole life and then he just went you know i just i hate i hate i hate kelly green shirts now i'm punching the face it doesn't happen that way so this this the woman punched this man but this it's been leading up to this there's been many things before this oh yeah i'd heard of probably called him a bitch out in public they argued yeah in the mall already she probably threw a drink in his face you know what i'm saying probably flirted flirted with his brother just you know, just just progressively reckless. But you she know? punched. She punched him. Yeah. And yeah. Then you, you don't know what was the reason at that point in time. Like for for what happened See, right now. Now this is now you and I. We have I have to give you a free consultation because you <laughs> never go. She punched him in the face. What did he do? You, nothing he did warrants getting punched in the face. Of course not. But that's what I'm saying. What did he do? I'm saying what was what happened? What was going on right before that she punched him in the face? That's some punch. It, that's that's the point. That's the real that's the point. It's not what was going on before. It's what it's what it's been up to, yeah. It's okay, what's so been okay. Going so what oh. what what leads what leads up to all right, you're talking about OJ hitting people fucking chairs and then cutting their heads off. So there was, yeah. there was. Uh, it's wild, by the way, that OJ has opinions on things still to oh, this yeah. day. It's completely sure. insane that he's allowed well, on Twitter. This man murdered well, two people, murdered well, them. Donald Trump, Trump, Donald Trump shot shot a hundred thousand people on Fifth Avenue, baby. So that is not, is not factual. <laughs> well, that is not indirectly. Factual. He's indirectly, a criminal. But, no, he's a full criminal. Yes, and he probably shouldn't be where he's at either. But he but how many di- how top. many people do you how many people do you think died because of his decisions with this corona shit? Oh fuck, I don't know. I don't know. 
Well, when you saying start now, out, it's not even. They're saying now that it's not even that it's a hoax from the other side to keep him out of the office now. Which how wild is that? As I, well, listen. If it's a hoax, I have ten people I know personally that died from it. So I don't wonder where they're hiding. They're probably hiding Good at hoax. the the, it's at the, the, uh, the film studio where they they fake the lunar landing. You know? I'll tell you where they are, Dante. They are sitting in their car right now, honking <laughs> at a comedian in Atlanta. Killing, <laughs> killing somebody. <laughs> no, but I, I, I agree with you. Yes, yes. It's, but the T. thing Diddy was, also was he, should not be. Yes, he should not be yeah, out here publicly saying anything to anybody. I got you. Yeah, it's so. My my thing is, you know, um, look, Ben Rosenfeld's got seven albums. There's a lot of crazy shit going on in this world. <laughs> Christ. Man, <laughs> comedy's over, dude. Let's, there's no reason, you know what I mean? You're Four sitting of on top listeners. of the Golden Gate Bridge. You're having I'm a great killing. time out there, Dante. It's, 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 I'm surprised. It's funny because the clouds are only behind me. They're not, <laughs> otherwise, I wouldn't be able, to, I wouldn't All right, be able so to see you. Get... What do you tell? Okay, so again, things led up to this, all this kind of stuff. But in that moment, you just kind of, what do you tell this guy? You go, yo, man. She's been wanting to punch you for a long time. You've been a fucking loser for, for months. No, I go, I go, I say, listen, nobody just punches you in the face. So here's the thing. I, there's, it's a real, so the way you keep your, your the two things the way I say this over and over. I've said this on the show a hundred times. You want relationships are easy. You just have to decide what your non-negotiables are and then never negotiate them, Right. But you got to be honest about what your non-negotiables are. So if a woman, say for instance, if a woman says, I don't want no guy to cheat on me, right? But he cheats on you and you stay, then cheating on you wasn't non-negotiable. Mm -hmm. It was absolutely negotiable because you stayed. If beating you is your non-negotiable, if you say, I don't want no man to physically abuse me, and you get hit and you stay, then it is negotiable. Yeah. If you're a guy and your woman punches you in the face or calls you a, a, a punk or bitch or faggot, your, your mother's pussy stinks or something like that. Is. If that a is, lot. if a that lot. is, uh, <laughs> these roasts are getting lazy. <laughs> <laughs> if if, you, if that is what's happening and you're staying putting up with it, then you're there's no there's no victims. It's volunteers. Yeah. You know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You're volunteering. So he's in a situation. So then the question, then do you have to fix that from the man? You can't fix it from the relationship. It has nothing to do with the relationship. There's, this guy is tolerating things and has been tolerating things. And, his, and his, his, the, her respect for him has been slipping for some time. And he's not, he wants peace and quiet. So he, 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 uh, you know, puts up with it. Like, he just puts up with it. It gets worse and worse and worse. They just, I just saw this fucking thing with, with uh, by accident on fucking Sam and Jim. Did you see the thing with, 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 with Chris D? Did you see this? Or go on, Google Chris D gets scolded on air. Uh, let me on find the, the exact. Let me find the oh, exact. Yeah, I can't play it, me. but I'll find it. Yeah. It's by who? Like he, his, well, his, here's what his was happening. Baby mom. Here's, here's what was oh, happening. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Because everybody is at home, everyone, even people are doing, you know, their, their interviews now, their show appearances are via Skype. So Christy yeah. was doing his uh, appearance via Skype, Chris Stefano on Jim and Sam. And I guess, I guess he's quarantining with his, uh, his ex. Baby, his baby's mom. Baby's mom. And uh, now they're maybe back together. He was telling the story how they started hooking up again. And then she got furious in the middle of it. She heard it. She heard it from the next room. Funny. And then you can hear her go. Mim, mim, mim. And he goes, oh, this is, this is a no, good, it's story. good stuff. It was a good story. And she's like, mim, mim, mim. is that that show? Mim, 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 mim. And he goes, no. And then Jim and Sam are sitting there. It's really like crazy. That's Because like, he's on air. And then Jim and Sam laugh and they joke and they go, ha, who's never been there? And I'm like, me. And uh, <laughs> and then he goes, he goes, yeah, yeah, I, I better go. So like he's midway in the interview and he just. So what do you think he should do? Get a chair? And <laughs> hit this woman? <laughs> well, here's, here's the thing. 
what part of the OJ <laughs> should he? Is this the share again? part? There we go. You can't hear yeah. it. You can't yeah, hear it, can't but hear this it, is. But it's, I'll, I'll yeah, watch it after, though. That's funny. Yeah. That's just you a funny thing to have happened. You could see him being yelled at yeah, by his ex. Watch him go back, talk to them, and then he can't. Oh, what? It's just it's fucking awful. Who? I'm going to watch that for what sure. What is That's streaming just... stuff, Harry? Huh? <laughs> What's streaming stuff? <laughs> what? what? I, I want to meet. If you, if you speak to him, Nathaniel, did, you know, tell him I want to talk to him, please. Christy? I, I need. Yeah, I don't know. You know what's funny when you when you, you when you once. ask me if I'm gonna talk to white people, you use my full name. That's true, <laughs> Nathaniel. That's true. His full Canadian well, name. I mean, but when you're just yeah. talking to when you you know what I mean? It's Nate. Every and you know other what's time. crazy? You know what's crazy? Because uh, Nathaniel, he uh, he loves a, a, some chocolate and he loves a big booty. So I don't even it's, know why I did that. It's the only he loves thing. A fatty. It's the only thing I'd step out of the house for. I <laughs> I was in South Africa a few years ago performing, oh and God. I was like... Oh, my God. What did you met the hot and tots? <laughs> <laughs> I was really like, yo, if I can if I can cheat at all, I'm going to cheat. I don't care. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. And the only yeah. woman who was like crazy, she came up to me, grabbed my ass, and she's like, do you have a, a girlfriend? I turn around. It's this tiny little super thin uh, white woman, and I went... Yes. <laughs> like, I am wouldn't, not bothering, not wasting my time for this Nathan, shit. <laughs> wouldn't it be funny if your girl came into the room and started yelling at you right now while you were on no, our it's podcast? A good, it's a good story. It's what do you it's mean? Good. I did it. I oh, did hey, a cheat at funny. the end of the day. Oh I no, she knows. If I ever yeah. make it to Brazil, it's over. No, it's, it's over. It's over. It's over. She looks, so she looks at your yeah, tour you rider. You was looking for that motherland booty, right? Dude. <laughs> I saw literally two of the hottest women I've ever seen in my life in, in Johannesburg. Yeah. Black and white. Unbelievable. I was like, who the yeah. fuck? Who made these who people? This doesn't make any yeah. sense. So your yeah. girl just looks over your 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 uh, supposed tour schedule and goes, uh, okay, Sweden, yes. Norway, yes. Mexico, no. Argentina, no. No, she doesn't. Look, she doesn't control me, but she makes him get tested when he comes back from <laughs> yeah, Brazil. Yeah, that's true. So like, you need to... We gotta before she we smells before it, we go raw she smells, dog again. She smells his dick at the airport at the baggage claim. <laughs> says, I'll say this, no like, joke. I it have... smells like samba. <laughs> Why does your dick smell like samba? <laughs> Dante, I think you and me have talked about this. I, I personally do not have the heart to cheat. And I've said this to my girlfriend. Yeah. I really don't. I, I, I don't have it. I don't want to go on the road and fuck around with, but I'm telling you right now, black <laughs> but... women with giant asses and big gaudy nails and shit. Uh, I'm only I'm all I don't have I'm I don't right. I don't have a I that what am I gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Stand right. all, Nate, that's, that's just that's I see, can't now, do anything now, about some, it. Some 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 people would call that as a culture vulture, but I feel like you're just the the like worm. I'm bad TV. Well, you're, you're the worm that, TV. that the vultures eat, so you're fine. <laughs> oh, every one of those women could beat the fuck out of me. Oh, every single one of them. But you know, what? you know, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna I'm gonna send you a couple. I'm gonna get on your gram. I'm gonna send you some uh, some profiles on your gram. Please. You know, it's Cause, funny because uh, yeah. Dante and I both both post from the uh, Man School 202 Instagram account. So sometimes I'm posting things more often and then Dante, but I can always tell which one I'm logged into when I'm scrolling down the feed of <laughs> oh, after two or that. three gigantic ass and titties in a row. I'm like, Oh, I'm in, I'm not in my account. Let me switch back. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. Not that I enjoy that. Don't enjoy a nice gigantic set of ass and titties, but I'm like, you know, for me, it's like a nice enjoyable meal every once in a while. But Dante is having Thanksgiving That's dinner my, every night. It is my sustenance. It was yeah. my sister thing that keeps I told me you alive. Before, I had to stop looking at those. Uh, I've been looking more now because fuck, we're locked the hell up. But when we right. were free, I had to stop looking at all those type of pictures on my Instagram. Yeah. I can't do it anymore. I changed all of them to dogs. Every single one of them. <laughs> I, I I was just like, now I'll just look at Chihuahua. So I'll look at a Chihuahua wearing a sock or a yeah. Chihuahua coming out of a pool because it makes me happy instead of looking yeah. at some, you know, giant thighed fucking superwoman who I'd love to pound. That's not. Where is she? I don't know, and then there's another one and another one. I can't fucking look at this <laughs> shit anymore. It doesn't stop. It Give me guys out there. It's wild. It's, it's funny. Houston. Uh, it's, it's funny because like Houston, I, yes. I I had so many on my on my on my. I was following so many that if they were slightly or if the buttocks were slightly not rounded, buttocks? I would go unfollow. Unfollow. <laughs> this is ridiculous. 
he only said absurd. that because he's talking to a white guy. That's the only reason he said that. <laughs> if it was, if it, if the ankles were too I bad, I go, I'm, get the fuck out of here. Well, see, what this is the problem with this, this. Why I think I was talking about this too. This why I stopped watching porn for a long uh, time and and Instagram shit because it's all so fucking. Uh, fake and perfect that you start judging everybody based on things that don't even fucking exist, you know? Here's, here's the funny thing. My, my wife is from England, right? And so they don't have the commercials like we have. So okay. she would watch TV and I want pizza. I'm like, it's fucking Pizza Hut. Nobody wants Pizza Hut, right? <laughs> so, and then Are you saying like, it worked on her? Oh, yeah, because she's not used to it. And she's, you're bombarded with these images yeah. with, a, with, a, with a Burger King that doesn't look anything like a no. fucking Burger King. I and can't hold like, you, though. I, I want some McDonald's. It's been working she, on me lately. I feel like being quarantined helped. You eat bullshit now. But it does. Who, like, me? McDonald's has no, I'm saying like, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because, of the, because you yeah. said because of the avatar. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, she would watch one, com one commercial and not and then want that like yeah. literally because they don't they don't it's illegal to do that in england what's funny is i i don't need, i know commercials that i know the commercials of and don't know the product that the commercial represents That's do you know funny. what i mean like i'm yeah, doing yeah. a jingle because it's so it's so white what we're so like it's white noise now because it's just the, There's tits the manipulation is so bad that it doesn't even manipulate us no more trainers you know? commercials are the best though they be selling yeah. you anything, but they be like no matter what they selling you in Spanish TV commercials, they make it mad sexy. Yo, have you That's seen the commercial for uh, the Census? Yeah. Oh yeah, no, with Cardi B. <laughs> no, oh, not yeah, Cardi yeah. B. Just the other. There's these two uh, Latin women yelling at each other, and I, I just watched the video and I'm like, yo, both these women are fucking hot as hell, and it's like, yo, <laughs> write my kid's name down, and she's like, I'm not writing my kid's name down. And even that, I'm I like, didn't see that. I gotta check that out. Oh shit. Cardi B has one of those? Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. She like Sana Census. Sana Census. It's gonna get for you. <laughs> it's gonna and then you can count you. Then that's it. That's I'm, hilarious. She got exactly twerk, twerk, what you want. Twerk, twerk, twerk. Come on and twerk, twerk, twerk. <laughs> twerk for the census. Yo, if an ass ran for president in November, it would win. <laughs> it would win, it would win. Just a I, giant you know, ass shaking. Yeah, Nathan. but I you know, I the the thing is when a guy gets punched in the face and he thinks that that's okay, it's like his self-esteem is so... Nobody should be... I don't care whether we... If we disagree, yeah, I shouldn't have to punch you in the face. Yep. Do you know what I mean? So we, we agree, we disagree, whatever, but I don't get... You don't get to... You have to, you have to have lose, lost so much respect. Like, listen, if your girl is cursing you out, if your girl is screaming at you while you're making your living, there's so little respect that she has for you. Because, you know, you get a situation where this is, this is, you, you, you don't even think you have value. It's interesting because I was talking to this young dude and I said, you know, if you meet a girl and you're dating her and she's treating you disrespectfully, it's only because you have told her you're worthless. You have communicated to her that you're worthless. She doesn't know what your value is and what your self-worth is. You tell her. Do you know what's a like, decent example of that in our lives? Is stand-up, 100%. Oh, 100%. sure. Absolutely. You yeah. can... I have been... We've all been yelled at by crowds, and most of the yeah. time, it's, it, it, maybe it's somebody that's drunk and that's a different situation, but when somebody right. gets heckled or somebody gets yelled at, it's usually because they gave up on themselves and let somebody take fucking control of the goddamn room, and yeah. now they lost it. You know what I mean? It's over. You can't do anything. Yeah. Yeah. How, how is Warren Holstein? Anybody seen him? Oh, the, that's, um, oh there's no reason. To... <laughs> <laughs> what is going on no here? No reason. It's just name names. We're already taking um, down Ben Rosenfeld and Chris DeStefano. I mean, my God, this is not a I gotta watch to vendettas. That's funny. That's tough. It's an amazing <laughs> video. It's everything you want it to be, Nate. Uh, um, brother, I, don't, I don't want it to be anything, but yeah, that's cool. Uh, let he, me, you were saying something that you were... Heart. He didn't even say, could you take that down? You know what I mean? Like, uh, well, well, I mean, because honestly, in, in, in certain types of things, it's, it's 
for what we do, you could just use that as like, oh, that's a funny thing. And then you have a whole, you can do a whole podcast episode about that one five minute clip. Yeah. You know? I will say well, he does it, like that. I mean, he, he bombed on Kimmel apparently and they didn't air it and he wants yeah. them to air it for some reason. Yeah, but that yeah might be, he, he even talked about it on Twitter. I yeah, saw he, he was writing yeah. about it. He wants them to air it. Nathan, you yeah, were saying- Yeah, but that, you, there's something to that. Get there's to the something to that. Oh. <laughs> Good, huh? No, I Good, was just huh? changing the subject. I was curious what him and his girl, he said him and his girl were having a couple fights during the quarantine. I was curious oh, yeah. about what, what came up that- uh, Oh man, I was doing, uh, I was on Howard Stern and yeah. uh, <laughs> I was talking about how, you know, I pound her in the ass sometimes and she right. was like, what the <laughs> fuck? And then we got into a, oh, no, I mean, <laughs> dude, we're, you, you know, you're in the same place with somebody all the time going through probably the craziest thing we're ever going to live through. If I, if I, if I was in a house with, you know, uh, a Brazilian fucking soccer team that all they wanted to do was suck me. I would fight every one of those women eventually because you're yeah. you're in you're just in a situation that's insane. So that's really all that it is. Is like you know we get fucking sick of each other every once in a while. So well, what is know, I, I, I? I'm curious right, what the because I, I I like I think every couple fight is never about the actual thing you're fighting about. It's usually about some subtext or whatever. But I'm always fascinated by the little things that people end up fighting over. Like the mm -hmm. the straw that breaks the camel's back is always funny to me. About I you hear know. you. I'm trying to think of like what was the last type of thing. They're not like giant fights or whatever, right. but I mean it's like, um, no, I can't remember. Fair but enough. Anyways, we ha we definitely have gotten into some. Well, well, let me say this. On the other side, if if I was to go, no, everything's perfect, and we're doing better than we ever have. That guy's mm -hmm. lying. That, that guy's a fucking true. psychotic mess. That's nuts. You know what I mean? I don't think well, anybody can I, say I that. Would I will say this, the, the um, first thing is I think we, we teach people how to treat us and we do that based on how we feel about ourselves in the first place. So we're making this self-evaluation about how, who, who we are and what our value is and then we go, uh, okay, and then the person goes, okay, well, this, oh, you suck, I'm gonna treat you like this. And, and you, you really don't even understand that you're teaching because this person doesn't know you like you've known you your whole life. So if anybody knows what a piece of shit you are or what, or how great you are, you know, so somebody who's just met you, even somebody that you've been dating or, or married to for three years, they don't know you better than you know you. Mm -hmm. So your insecurity makes you allow them to treat you worse. Yeah. As time and your lack of, your lack of the fact that you don't feel as though you have options, you feel like you're stuck, and then it just gets progressively worse. And then the person and your what you're really doing is really a remote control because you're turning out you're turning up the volume on her as you become some more submissive and you put up with more shit. They 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 amplify the shit that they give you, so it, it works. It's, it's almost like the the couple is trying to find balance. It's almost like there's a natural order of balances. As you fall back, they push forward, and when you push back, they fall back. So it's a it's a really really interesting Yo, dynamic. Dante, it would be cool if you were to like narrate a uh, a couple fighting like a BBC. I was thinking about doing that. I was yeah, I was thinking about doing that. See um, here, we have the dominant black queen right about to strike. <laughs> <laughs> just do some shit, and you would make like you could actually you break just, down the science of why do, bitches be crazy. Did you just do the. the I did it. Did you I did it. Do the crocodile hunter. After he said that you'd be good at narrating, he made he your voice British. And in with an Australian touch, he really did the crocodile hunter. I don't know. They all sound the same. How is how is Roberto Vanderpool anyway? You, know, you don't need to be <laughs> more comedians. We don't. You know. Andre, do you got Andre? Do you got a girlfriend? Yeah. How long you guys been together? Uh. What this summer is gonna be like, like two and a half now or something? Oh, nice. Okay, cool. Congrats, man. Yeah, you like... gotta understand. Andre don't really have the ability for emotion. <laughs> what are you talking about, yo? I mean, don't have nice so... to her. Well, tell me two, three emotions. Don't use hungry. <laughs> Bang. Love. I oh, know. Oh, one, 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 one more. Uh, fear. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's not fear is feel that like. you like cold, cold. Sometimes I'm cold. 
Chili, yeah, chili's you know another one saying? that's less cold. I, I, I'm, I'm a listen. I'm a great boyfriend. I'm actually the best relationship nigga there ever is. Jesus, that's I, a, I don't think right, that's true. I find on. that hard let's to believe. Move on. On. I let's just move on. I mean, I don't know. Even... <laughs> well, your spot up there, but this is, this, this, hey, Harry, can you just block him out and then put this is what this is your brain on drugs? You do that. <laughs> I could do like, it. In add post. him to the commercial. I'll do it in post then for the YouTube video. Runs over a tricycle in the drive-through. <laughs> oh yeah, that was that, yeah that Bishop old one. The guy backed out of a fucking. No, it used to be. That was a real commercial. Weed. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was just a Jason Pell sketch. No, man, that was a real commercial. Well, it was a guy. Was it a guy coming out of a driveway and he and he runs it was over the drive-through? It was like a McDonald's and he yeah, runs yeah, over. Yeah, yeah. a bunch of kids getting high at a, in a drive-through. <laughs> and you know how they make you know how they make drug use to be in commercial, especially we. No, it was a here. kid, a lady w- w- with a, and a kid with a tricycle. I know, yeah, but yeah, it was yeah, a yeah. bunch. Of, I remember it being a bunch of kids in a drive-through smoking up and laughing up, and they yeah, run yeah, over. right, yeah. right in the car. You're saying in the yeah, car, yeah, and then right. they ran and the kid over. Then you, see they, the, then you see the tricycle upside down and the wheels turning. So oh, my God. <laughs> that always means that the kid died when the wheel turns. When the wheels turn, <laughs> the wheels That's continue funny. to go. So it's a, like a metaphor. You know how sad it would be if you're in that car and you just want to bite your McChicken, but your friend just killed a kid and you're like, well, can I eat or? I would eat. <laughs> yeah. We're going to be oh, here a while, bro. <laughs> We're going to be here a while oh, you, between you, the. You, you, you can eat, but you don't want to just be in. You, yeah, 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 yeah. You got to do it real know? quick. <laughs> I would eat. Like, between the police report and the ambulance showing up, it's going to be a while. It's going to be a while. Yeah. It's it's funny, like you say, you know, like that's, it, it, like all of those rules are like universal. It's like the first thing you said about stand-up is if you, if you walk on stage and they try to push you and the minute they push you, you push back, like, then they go, oh, okay, we, I guess he's driving. Nice. But if you go up, hey, could you kind of, kind of, sort of, dude? If, if, like Unless you're in maybe, Brooklyn, that probably work in Brooklyn or some little old alternative room. Yeah, maybe the alt rooms, but not, not the, not Emerald City, man. You can't ask for uh, shit. Uh, not Emerald. You can't ask for shit. Dante, you remember doing, or, or Andre, you might too. Remember doing Brooklyn Exposure? Brooklyn Exposure. Yeah, Dante, you yeah, remember that? that? Marlon Randolph yeah. ran it. Nah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Dude, do you remember they had the key, the key show? Yeah, oh, yeah. I heard yeah. about this. So if they, the crowd didn't like you, they'd shake keys at you. And I was on yeah. this show, and it was packed, packed. There's like yeah. 90 people in Brooklyn Exposure. It's fucking <laughs> packed. And the first two people went up, and they, they did exactly that. They were like, oh, man, give it up for the ladies. <laughs> Fellas, look. And the crowd just went, <laughs> fucking <laughs> keys. So I'm sitting there, I'm like, oh, yeah, okay. You can't ask nobody for shit. You just have to go up and fucking it, scream at these em. people. <laughs> Damn, that's funny. true. Me, you go on and go. You want to shake no keys? You ain't got no house. You homeless bitch. And then they go, oh, oh dude. Oh. I went up, so everybody was just holding their keys, looking at me, waiting. <laughs> and I just go. I took my keys out, and I was like, "This is the worst crowd I've ever seen in my life." And I shook my keys at them, that's that's and hilarious. they were like, "Ah." Oh. And it was it was fine after that. But wait, that you. comes from watching people ask Die, people dude. for shit, man. You can't. And we're talking about like. Even not even like the old crowds you're talking about, they're nice people to a point. Yeah. But yeah. even they'll turn on you because everybody oh, has that thing Harry, where they're like, "Yo, Harry, fuck like, this." Person. Harry, Harry, will they turn you on you? Oh, oh no, they'll, they'll turn on you. I've had it happen. <laughs> remember, we, remember, I did fucking. Oh. Uh... <laughs> I went with Dante. He went over to the Knitting Factory. Uh, okay. One of the capital cities here of the alternative comedy scene. <laughs> I mean, what did bro. you say though, Dante? Did you That's say the trans people aren't real? B- what would you say? Bitches ain't shit. These yeah. fucking bitches. bitches. I mean, I was that, was, that, was, that was the idea. Was, there was a lot of things that were said. Oh, um, I said, I said we. Uh, I said we. Damn, I don't even remember. We don't really my love you. Anymore. We just want to hang out with you. No, he says we, we. I said we don't. I go. We don't. We like. We we love you. Once we love you, we love you. But we don't like you. Here's how you know we don't like you. When we first meet you, uh, we refer to you by where we met you to our best friend, not by your name. And then I go, yo, my man will go to me, yo. You still fucking Home Depot? And I go, nah, son. I got busted with Dwayne Reed at the Pizza Hut, right? And and then and then and the girl was next to Harry. Oh my god! 
<laughs> she was just like, oh, oh, cause we're dumb and stupid, right? Cause girls suck, right? Cause girls suck yes. the whole time, like just <laughs> muttering. And I was and, like, that's, ex- that's exactly you, exactly the bitch I was talking about. You, I funny. mean, basically Dante was like, you don't have a sense of humor. And then her response was like, oh, cause we don't have a sense of humor, right? Cause we can't, you know, just out of her, fu- like he drove, it was, I was yeah, laughing yeah. just watching, but I will say this. It was also very quiet in there for for a for a set that Dante does. He did well, but definitely there was uh, some of the audience had had to check out either by for political reasons, for social justice warrior reasons, or because because all of them are trying to get bitches that don't shower and got hairy armpits. <laughs> they all trying to, and so you can't side with me. You side with me. That's not gonna yeah. get you laid. Uh, that's funny. Oh, you, you really that for well. reasons that. Uh, 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 other crowds, right, will uh, dislike you for other reasons, but then there are specific crowds that will yeah. like you based on ideologies and not even. But, he, but here's the thing: even in that crowd, I don't. I'm not stepping back. Yeah, I get I'm what you're going saying. now. Now you're really getting it. And then afterwards, I had like three, four people came over, a couple girls, one dude, and at the. Yo, I loved your yo, yo, I loved your shit. Like you just, you, they don't love it because they're liars. You're lying. I'm not saying. I'm speaking the truth. It's like, and not only that was the girl Harry. She acted exactly the way what I was That's talking true. about. That's true. And it's like, you're like, I'm gonna tell the truth. If I tell the truth, you cannot like me. And if you not, if you if you don't like me, then I could always go. Yeah, but I'm dope. Somebody else will like me. And then you go, the girl who goes, she don't like me. She goes, wait a minute, I mean, he's got the other options. And then my value goes up because I'm saying you don't, you don't have no control. You can't control any of this. And I'm wanted other places. And I don't care what you think, what you think of me, how you value me. You don't define me. And instantly that's what makes you more attractive is that I don't give a fuck. I just, I don't. And, 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 but it's, but it comes, it's not abusive but it comes from a truthful place. So if I go, if you're in a relationship and you go, listen, could you do me a favor? Not do that. That bothers me. And she goes, uh, she wants to argue. I'm like, I'm not arguing with you. I'm just telling you, I don't like that. Right. So here's not do that. Now, if you, if you, if you, as a woman, if you go, if she goes, I'm going to do it anyway, then I don't need you in my life. Because you, you, I'm giving you the path to my happiness, and you're going fuck you. I'm what, going the what other could, way. What, what's an example of a thing that you could tell a woman? Hey, don't do that. Um, I don't, I don't like, I don't like dishes in the sink. I don't like dishes in the sink, and if, and I'm not saying if we're not talking, but if I've washed the dishes and the dishes is clean, and you use a dish. <laughs> Wash the dish. Don't you don't you you don't be the first one to put the. It's one thing if I'm making a meal or you're making a meal or whatever. And I'm also a dude who'll wash. You know, like if you're cooking, I'm you know I'm not. I'm, this is not a. You know what I'm saying? It's not a. Man I got you. Thing. You're gonna do the dishes, but you're saying that if somebody uses a dish, wash your dish. Wash your dish. It's prison prison rules. Wash your dish. <laughs> so we don't have. To, so it don't pile up, and then we don't. You know, I get you, but it's ultimately, at the, in, in most relate, it's always like the small, the small things. You know what I mean? But it's, but not, it's not the, the, it's small, not the things. small things. Yeah. It's the thing is, I am I, willing yeah. to keep every uh, do whatever I need to do to keep this place clean, mm. and you know that. And you're going, I don't give a fuck about what you. Yeah, think. yeah, 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 yeah. So it's See, not. It's a, it's a small. So a lot of times, I, I get, saying. I get the bad rep because they th- people think I. I'm jumping to conclusions and I'm not. I, I just know that it's a, it's a linear equation. You just plot two points, you draw a line through it, and then you read it to infin- infinity. So if it's the, the dishes now, it'll be something else later. Anybody who, can, who doesn't pay their bills as an adult didn't clean their room. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you clean your room, you put your toys away, and then you manage your money. It's all the same thing. But Dante, if you're also, reckless, part of that is also it's not just about that small thing. It's a, usually about what that represents. Well, that's what I'm so saying. if you're asking yeah, yeah, somebody, yeah, yeah. it's more 
a sign of you don't care. You're not listening to what I'm saying. So it may not right. have yeah, anything no, no, to that makes sense. do with it's just the, the, or the even, dishes thing yeah. itself is very small, but yes, there is a lot uh, behind that that then can lead to many other. I, I get it. It's I get not, what you're It's not even the dishes. It's that yes. I'm saying no. I'm I stop and I go. This really upsets me. Could you do me a favor and do this? It, so if you're looking at the pain, then and, and the time that I I gotta stop because a lot of shit I'll just if I don't give a fuck I let it go. I'm not nitpicky. But if yeah, I'm right. taking the time to say this and you go, fuck you, here's a, here's a great thing. You know Keith uh, from Keith and the Girl? Yeah. Keith Valley. So Keith, when Keith was with his wife, he was married before he got divorced. He, we did my show and he said his, he said his wife, yeah, he, he said his wife used to keep leaving the kitchen. She would go in the cabinets and leave the cabinets open. She right? would open a cabinet and then she would just forget to close it and then leave the room. And so wow. every time I talk, he would just leave. She would leave it open and then he would come in and have to put it. In. And so yeah. he kept. So he said, listen, why? You know, they had a few arguments about the cabinets. Right. And then he asked me what I would do. And I said, well, first thing I would do, I would get a, I would get a screwdriver and take all the fronts of the cabinets off. I would take them all off and just sit them in the hallway. And then when you, you ask me why the cabinet service, well, you don't, you don't, you, uh, this bothers me. You don't give a fuck. So I'm not going to be uncomfortable. So I took all the cabinets off. I suggested some now, alternatives to that. Uh, uh, one was, I um, suggested some alternatives. <laughs> one was putting on a karate gi and then any cabinet doors that were open. <laughs> He would just, like, <laughs> yeah. he would just <laughs> smash the boards, you know, like dolomite. Yeah. <laughs> so I will or, say though, how do you forget to close a cabinet? Like, where the fuck? Where know. were you? Where who? Look, you know what I mean? the, the other one. Even, 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 even if you, even if you did, right? The point is, they're married. He's going. This is a this thing. This, me. Bar, this yeah, makes yeah, yeah. me uncomfortable. So it's not about the cabinets or anything. And him take me taking the cabinets off. It's me telling you, I'm not going to let you make me unhappy. You, you're not going to do that. If, you, if I'm unhappy, we're all going to be ha unhappy. Everybody here is not going to get anything that they want. And if you want to do that, I'll sit with that until I get the fuck out of here. But mm -hmm. if your, your take on that is that that's how I want to operate, then I'm not willing. I'm not, I, I love you, but I love me more. And I'm not willing, I don't love you enough to be unhappy for you. To be in a cabinetless house. I'll be, I'm, I'm going to take the cabinets off, but understand I'm not going to be in a cabinet. List. Another thing he was talking about, he, Keith was talking about, she, used to, she would take towels, just every new towels and then wet towels and leave them all over the floor. I mean, it's a weird kind of thing anyway, yeah. but the point, the point, the Was he real dating thing, a fucking college <laughs> football Jesus. star yeah. Jesus a tight end <laughs> yeah, for UCLA like he was dating Jameis Winston what the hell is that what is that <laughs> <laughs> so he says I said dude so everybody everybody called I was, no, I was on their podcast and uh, everybody called in and they were like oh my god that's, a, that's ridiculous how that's crazy so, that's ridiculous how crazy that's right psychotic and uh, and I said, I, but I explained myself. I said, this is not, it's not about the towels. It's not about the cameras. It's about somebody who doesn't give a fuck about you. That's what it's about. You're married to somebody who doesn't care about your happiness. And if they don't care, if they're saying, if they're communicating that they're not, they don't, they don't care about your happiness, that's not going to change. You're not going to wake up one, she's not going to wake up one day and go, here today I want to do the cap. Nah, it's never that it's never going to be that because the whole point is I know if I'm with somebody and I care about somebody and they say I do something that's uncomfortable. My intention is not to make you uncomfortable. I apologize. I don't, I won't do it and I'll make an attempt to adjust. What's better than that? Or yeah. hit them with a chair, cut their or, head off. <laughs> or, or, There's always an option. I, 
Yeah, or karate kick the cabinets. <laughs> or, or if you want another alternative, you don't want to break the cabinets, just draw swastikas on the inside of the cabinet. Then you have to close it. Then you have to that close it. That is true. It. I'm thinking over here. <laughs> that's only it's only if your wife is Jewish. Then it's not nah, good. Other and people the, care. And your and your mother in law is spending the night over from she's here in from Auschwitz. I mean, I'll tell so, you this, Dante. My 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 girlfriend is not Jewish, but if my cabinet had swastikas in the inside, I'd close. <laughs> I'll close them. I'm closing them. I mean, that's just wild. You don't want you know that's wild. <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough. Just, you know what? <laughs> On that, on that note, we're gonna end this. I gotta get back. <laughs> the fog is rolling in. Oh, <laughs> you don't Appreciate know how you, much, having you, you do not know get how it? much I hate when you guys fuck with those virtual backgrounds. <laughs> From because Harry, stop hating, Harry. When I post these fucking shows online, we're already dealing with lousy audio because of Listen, the technical limitations. Listen, can we do this off air because the fog? Oh my the God. fog is rolling in. <laughs> <laughs> I hey, appreciate you, you guys having plug? me. Plug, plug your shit. Oh, uh, yeah. At Nathan McIntosh on Instagram. I got a podcast called Positive Anger. That's There's a YouTube channel. It's on iTunes. Check it out. Thank you. You can also get Nate at, um, I'm probably not going to be a com comedian anymore. <laughs> <laughs> website. He and I both will be on. <laughs> it's just going to be this, right? Comedy. This is it. Podcasting until we're 90 years old and then just fucking roll into the ground. I've tr I've uh, I've I've already trademarked the the, the stage name Zoomlander. That's <laughs> Zoomlander. <laughs> Zoomlander. That's hilarious. Zoomlander. Like it. Dre, yeah. go ahead. Dre, well, uh, just uh, Andre D. Thompson on everything. That's that's the fuck it. Zoomington, whatever. <laughs> or oh, you can see him at one eight hundred high as fuck. He'll be there all week. <laughs> Gary, uh, you could uh, check out all my stuff online, the social media at Harry Turjanian, but uh, also <laughs> check out our show, our show YouTube page, the Man School 202 YouTube page. We're posting this episode. You can see all the visuals and everything we're talking about, as well as uh, we're posting some classic content that uh, you can't really find. Some really good old, episodes. Old Colin Quinn episodes. Colin Quinn. Old Caroline oh, Ray episodes. Nice. Uh, Andrew Schultz. When she hated her ex-husband. Oh, that's right. <laughs> and I know yeah. both of them, so it's awkward. I like both of them. That's uncomfortable. Anyway. Yeah, um, not for me. Not for you. <laughs> Nothing ever is. Nothing ever is. Uh, and also uh, check out Catalyst Wrestling. We still doing, uh, We still have new episodes coming up on YouTube every, uh, every week, so you can check out all my work there. Um, everything with me, the Dante Nero, Facebook, Dante Nero, everything else, Dante Nero, uh, GYBB, get your balls back, WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasted. Um, I love y'all. If y'all need a one-on-one -on -one consultation, hit me on DanteNero.com, click on consult and you can book time with me and I'll solve your problems and make sure you don't get your head cut off or you don't cut somebody's head. So <laughs> get at me. Thanks, mate. Appreciate Thank you, you for having me, guys. Appreciate you.